All right, Leslie, I am so excited and really, really curious actually to talk about this with you, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to jump too far ahead too quickly, but mm -hmm. I am really thrilled that you're here because I know there's, um, I was reading on Instagram that there were some big announcements that are kind of coming out. So oh, yes. um, before we get into all the juicy stuff, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and let us know who you are and what you do. Thank you. Yeah. And it's an honor to be here. I'm, um, thank you for asking me. Uh, oh, of course. Yeah. My name is Leslie Inoue and I'm the chief operating officer at List Perfectly. I've been there um, a little over two and a half years. Um, but I've, I've watched the journey um, from the beginning. So it's, it's been great to be at the company, but um, in it myself, instead of watching from the sidelines and just knowing about it and, and the people um, that made it happen. Um, but yeah, where would you like me to, to start on the big announcements coming or? or well, I'll, I'll give our listeners a little background because Leslie and I met at mm -hmm. a reseller event a few months back called Boss Reseller Remix. And her and I had never connected before. Mm -hmm. And we really just kind of clicked right away because we just kind of started laughing and yeah. <laughs> having fun. And then she started, you know, explaining to me what she does and all about List Perfectly. And I was familiar with, I guess, the service, okay. but I had never used it. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can start there and letting people know exactly what the service is. Yes, it's uh, this perfectly does many things. Uh, most people, if they've heard about it, the first thing they'll think of is cross listing or cross posting. Um, we help sellers, you could come in and, and learn how to list on our platform. And then we can take you across to all the marketplaces and platforms we support, like to 11 others. And then you learn one platform and then it helps you. Um, for me, that's what helped is I, I didn't know how to list on eBay or how to list on different platforms. And this perfectly just made it easy. I learned one and I could manage across um, 10 platforms um, that I was using then. But we also help manage inventory. We do so much more, create your listing faster. If you're just wanting to list in one platform, we can, you know, that's fine too. We would just give you tools to make it more efficient and an easier process and have a backup, backup for storage. You're not relying on the marketplace if something happens, if there's a glitch, it's, it's okay, you know, if they lost your listing because you would have a backup in less perfectly in the catalog and we never remove that, you know, you would have to delete it yourself. Um, but the unique thing about List Perfectly too is you can cross post marketplace to marketplace. Um, yes. And for and those that are interested in that. Yeah. So, so in case people don't know, cross posting or cross listing is when you list the same item on multiple selling platforms. So if you have a necklace listed on eBay, mm -hmm. you can use a service like list perfectly and that service will list that same necklace on Poshmark, Mercari, mm -hmm. Depop. <laughs> I'm not quite sure yeah. all of them. Wherever you want, good. Right. Um, so do it's yeah, a time Posh, saver. Mm -hmm. Poshmark, Kittison. Um, I was just talking about Kittison. People know mm -hmm. it for children's clothes, but there's also a whole um, section of shopping for mothers. So maybe jewelry for themselves, accessories. It just doesn't have to be children's clothes. Um, we have Vestier Collective, which could be higher end um, uh, clothing or items. There's Grailed, and that's kind of the more hip and trendy for like maybe a, a younger or expensive taste too, <laughs> like street fashion. Yeah. And, yeah. And, uh, something more of my, if I'm shopping for my stepkids, they're teenagers. I might go there. Um, you know, we also go to Instagram, but not this Instagram isn't 
for the store or shopping, but it's for the social aspect of social selling and social commerce. And then taking advantage of that as a, a free resource to market your your items and, and a wider audience. Um, it's it's worked on me. To me, I don't necessarily have time to shop, but I follow sellers. And so when I see stuff in Instagram, it's like ads for me. They're not paying for it as an ad, but it works as an ad, you know, when you have absolutely you know, when you get more eyes on your items, you know, <laughs> increases the chance that it's going to sell or someone would, would be curious enough to see what else does she have yeah. in her store or yeah. you know, what oh. other kind of things do they have for sale? If I like this, I might like something else. And then it's just someone that I want to follow and see what they have. And maybe I'm not actually shopping today, but in a month or when it's closer to something or an occasion, then I'll want to go check them out. Um, and we work with Shopify too for sellers that have their own um, oh, I didn't know like that. Their website and their own store. And that I've done too. There's the seller. I I liked what I saw and you know, I, I wanted to buy. And so then you could send me an invoice. So you were avoiding marketplace fees. I could just message him on Instagram and say, if this is for sale, I want to buy it. Gave him my email and he sent me an invoice. And then that was another way. So there's different things not to take out from, take away from the marketplaces. They're great too, because you have a global audience, you know, and people looking for, I do it all, but um Instagram is just more like my ads, you know, and what I'm not expecting to see, what I'm not searching for. And then I see, uh, but we would manage your inventory. So you sell something, then you can take it off all the platforms. And you, it's it's just a reminder where, where do I have this listed in case you forgot, you know, you can manage it that way. And talking about taking listings down and selling list perfectly is just brought up. It's, been in development for a while, but the auto D list is now available for Pro Plus. Yay! So that's <laughs> big news for people. And with us, it's it's taken a while in development, but that's because we have it working for all all marketplaces, all platforms, not just a couple. You know, so it's it's ready now in Pro Plus. Um, we'll give links, I'm sure later but absolutely that's a big one and we've had sales detection um so you would get notifications too and you get the cha-ching and that way you're not having to follow you know just in your central place list perfectly you will see what's sold and you know if people are in there every day working sometimes that's handier you know or maybe more convenient efficient to see in the place that they're working their one-stop hub kind of thing what's sold and um, a lot of shortcuts for that, you know, taking things down, where's the listing? I just, I like this perfectly for the convenience. If, right. If you're selling in, in more than one place. Um, yeah. So now I saw the, I think I saw a post, maybe it was a, a, a live that mm -hmm. one of the owners did this morning. I think she was talking oh, about yes. that. <laughs> and, yeah, um, so, so what the big announcement was, and for those of you who don't cross list, uh, this has been a very challenging thing is when you sell something on one platform, you mm -hmm. want to make sure you remove the item <laughs> instantly mm -hmm. from other platforms, because the worst thing you can do is sell the same item twice and you don't have two yeah. of the item. So what Leslie was uh, confirming was that list perfectly now has developed or fine tuned mm -hmm. their software to do what is called delisting, which means removing the item from the other platforms that it did not sell on. And this right. is a big deal because a lot of people don't like to use cross listing uh, applications or softwares or tools because of that reason. They're afraid like, oh, well, mm -hmm. what if it doesn't come off or what if, um, you know, it forgets or something mm -hmm. happens and then I sell it twice and, you know, nobody wants to put their account in, in jeopardy mm -hmm. by, you know, having to cancel an order or something like that. So Liz perfectly has finally uh, fixed that problem. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that right, wanted, Leslie? <laughs> yes. And I, I want to make sure like, um, 
also it's clear it's for single quantity items they're not it's not oh, taken okay. down if it's a multi quantity item because you still have you still have items for sale so right, if it's right. a single quantity item it will take it off the other markup places if it's um, a multi quantity item it will leave it there it's not going to take it down you'll you'll still have your items for sale and we have a uh, a great update button. This feature is another one of my favorite features. So you can use our update button feature to update the quantity. You know, with our update button, you could update images, title, you can go as specific, like I just want to update the images. Maybe we did something new, did the background remover, changed colors. You can update for specific things like just the prices or just the quantity, you know, the images or all details. But I love the update, you know, say you're just wanting to um, add, you know, 10% to your prices across the board because there's inflation. You can go through, use this perfectly's update feature, and then you could just do that. If you have bulk business, or sorry, business plan, pro or pro plus, you can do the bulk features, you know, the bulk functions. Um, we have a more basic, simple plan. So I just want to be clear that's a one one at a time updating. But you can do things okay. in bulk from business up. And that's time savings, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, this this will save you so much time manually because you don't have to physically hop to each site to put, to put the right. listings on. And mm -hmm. then when it sells, you don't have to hop to each site <laughs> again to yes. take the listings off. <laughs> Like I've, you know, I've worked within Poshmark and some of the other marketplaces. What I like with List Perfectly is then you can, when you say you want to edit, you know, make an adjustment with your prices or something like that, um, your quantities, you can make those edits like in bulk, right from your catalog. You don't right. have to open up each item and make your change, like each listing and make a change. It's, you can get the spreadsheet view and just go down your list. Like how many, you know, I'm just, it, it, those are the things that to me that save time, you know, saving clicks, Absolutely. not open each one. Okay. I did, you know, and, and then um, maybe not lose your place. Where was I, which one, you know, it's just, so those are um, things that, you know, I think are just as valuable. And now we, we have a new catalog, we're doing a new interface and um, there you can adjust the width of your columns. You have so much more flexibility, what you want to see in there, um, the order, you have a lot more customization. So, yeah, you know, see, now that's exciting because I've never really used a cross listing tool at all because I've been so paranoid <laughs> about, <laughs> you know, about something messing up and, yeah. and, uh, but, now that I've talked to you, you've actually given me the confidence to, you know, consider this and, and give it a try because, um, you know, I, I know other resellers who use the service mm -hmm. and they absolutely love it. And they said they could not do reselling without it. And I think, too, when you're selling something like jewelry, I think mm -hmm. that it, it just depending on what it is, it'll perform better on one mm -hmm. platform as opposed to another. And it's really nice that you can take advantage of, you, you know, whatever that is. Oh, like let's mm -hmm. say something jewelry selling better on Poshmark at this time. Well, you can have it there too. You don't have mm -hmm. to just constantly worry about only eBay or only, um, I don't know, Mercari or whatever. And so I hear I that from good. sellers where, yeah, one, one month, one platform's doing great. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then the other ones are just kind of sleeping a little and then but maybe <laughs> right. in a month or two it's the other platform so it's it's good to diversify have more you know more viewers more eyes more buyers diversify as far as which platform like the one people wouldn't think about maybe kittison you know because you're thinking children's clothes but then there could be mothers shopping for themselves i shop for my stepkids and then I happen to see something maybe I want that too you know so other places to think about um and then um I don't know for people that make jewelry even like we have our duplicate 
function. You could start. I have a friend. I have a couple of her her bracelets. Oh, She's made. Very nice. But I think it's nice to you know you start a template because it's pretty similar. Maybe where they're made, certain information, and then you can just make your minor adjust. Um, you know, duplicate it and then make some minor adjustments. And I think it's just speeds up the time of creating listings, you know, but yours are vintage jewelry. It might all be kind of different unless you. Yeah, usually. <laughs> you have a, maybe an era of like 80s costume jewelry versus 1950s, you know, like maybe you can have templates based on the era of what you're doing or something. But, you know, it's. This perfectly though well, it does work for all it's not just clothes it's not just hard goods it can work you know there's trading card sellers there's shoe sellers it can be cookbooks it can be books it can be so much just um that's why originally the name was actually list clothing and oh <laughs> i didn't know that yeah 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 it was originally list clothing i um and then it um, updated, like, you know, rebranded, changed to list perfectly to be more all encompassing. But it's, it started out um, as this list clothing. But but we do more than that. So that, that name is not, it didn't fit. Right, right. So mm -hmm. just to make sure everyone knows is that you can list anything. If you can sell it on mm -hmm. eBay or Poshmark, you can list it on list perfectly. Exactly. So let's go ahead then and talk about the actual service. I know there are some uh, different tiers, I guess, would be mm -hmm. the best way to describe it. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about. Great question. Yeah. yeah let's, let's dive into that. So every plan is unlimited. Um, we go by Unlimited listings? Unlimited listings, okay. importing. You know, you're starting, you say you maybe have 500 items, you know, already that you've created and you want to bring that into our catalog so you can push it out to the other platforms or just to manage it. Maybe those items are already across platforms, but you want to start managing everything from List Perfectly. You can import that. It's unlimited. Um, again, you'll save time if you have a business plan or up because you can do bulk functions. Um, versus one at a time importing. Okay. And the plans, they're 29 a month for simple, 49 for business, 69 for pro, and then we have a brand new um, pro plus, but it's it's not on our pricing chart yet because it's it's um, it's an opt-in option right now for pro for pro users. Um, but it will be right now they're looking at 149. This is um, a different kind of plan, which we can get into. Um, it almost acts right. like, a, a, like so an I'm guessing it's for like people assistant. who have huge, huge stores, maybe like tens yeah. of thousands. They of might items. want a picking list. Like you can print a picking list for the day. You know, if you're doing oh, shipping, okay. um, if you have um, employees that work for you, you can have a sub account. And, and that way you're not sharing your login information you can control what they could do or see. Maybe you don't want them to see your, your right, revenue. Right, that's good. You want that's information good. private, your billing private. So that's good for people with with employees, you know, mm -hmm. or, or even family helping. But you are might be, con you know, nervous. You know, maybe they're not fully trained to do everything and you just want to make sure they're not maybe publishing <laughs> right. or doing everything else. And you can have those protections too for yourself. So Pro Plus is just a bit elevated from everything before. Um, and, um, but that's coming, you know, to be its own plan to sign up for. Uh, but how the pricing goes is um, based on data, like how much um, information you're pushing out. You know, it's not on listings because everything's unlimited. You know, we don't want to have sellers think about well, gosh, I paid for 100 listings. That's all I can do this month. You know, like we don't want to limit growth or make you ration what you're doing. You know, we just that's wonderful. Think about growing and and what's your output? What are you comfortable with? But the focus is on growing, not on counting how many numbers, you know, how many listings you've done. 
you know, per month. You're not limited in that, but in data and efficiency, like how much information do you want to push out? Like, so the simple plan does not have SKUs and shipping information. It's, it's more limited, you know, but you get oh. to go and you're, you're carrying over, you know, more details, you know, it takes less time um, because you have all the um, additional information you want to copy, you know, copy over. So it just, it saves you time when you're pushing there, um, if that makes sense, but it's not based on a number of listings. Yeah, that's fantastic mm -hmm. that you said it's unlimited listings, mm -hmm. no matter which plan you're and on. Importing. Yeah, and importing and then no add-on fees. And then it's, there's no, also like not a limitation on how many marketplaces you can cross post or cross list to. It's all of our supported um, marketplaces for that, for those plans. Um, so then you can go to all of them and not restrict yourself to, oh, well, I'm only paying for, you know, something that can cross list to three plans or four plans. Now, does that. that apply to the photos too? Like, is it however many photos um, yeah. in the listing? You you can we host up to uh 30 images per listing um oh, okay there's up to 30 more than even what would be probably needed for the marketplaces depop though is a limited you know we can host up to 30 but depop doesn't let you they have i think the strictest number of photos used to be four i believe now it's eight um oh, okay photos so we would tell people put your your best were, eight yeah, your, yes. yeah, your best eight your first. top <laughs> photos at the top because then if you were cross listing to Depop, it might, you know, it's only going to take the first eight. You know, it used to be four. That just wasn't not much, but um, so I'm glad they so, increased. That. Um, one question I have is okay, let's say something sold, mm -hmm. it gets delisted. Then let's say something happens and the person cancels the transaction. Can I go back in and put that same listing back up? You know, if yeah, if right. Like that That's happens? another good um, because you would still have that there. You'd still okay. have your listing in in our catalog. So you can take something. Oh my cat. Um, you can take something um, that has been sold or it looks like it's no longer active and yeah you could just unmark it sold and then and then on our end you know so you know that this is for sale again it's available and then just cross list it like like and then just go the back like you would around. normally okay and we, and we do um delist relist for sellers that like to prefer doing delist relist over i like updating i just do more updated my listings do some change constantly improving what I was, you know, just, okay, if this is still here, something's wrong. Maybe I need new hashtags, different keywords, fix my title. What am I doing if it's still here? So I tend to do little updates or changes and then update my listing, but others might prefer to delist and relist. We can right. do that too. Okay. So, now, as it relates then to the shipping, that would be handled on the platform that the item sold on, correct? Like I wouldn't be right. printing labels through. Right. You don't perfect. do it okay. through this perfectly, right? That would be through the through the marketplaces. And, um, and then sellers have options too, if they're using the marketplace shipping, you know, or if they're mm -hmm. doing their own shipping through mm -hmm. another service. But that would be um, separate from this perfectly, but you can put in your, I would still recommend putting in your shipping information, like your final details. So you can look at numbers and have analytics and things like that. Yeah, and that takes me to my next question. So does list perfectly provide um, its own data or analytics for sellers to track Yes. their listings or their items. Yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah, and there's it's it's um, filterable. You know, you can there's all kinds of filtering um, options in List Perfectly. Like if you just want to check 
one platform, um, a time period, you know, there's all of that from the all time, you know, there's different filters you so you can get the analytics you want. And um, there's always going to be updates and improve, you know, like um, updates and more things coming and, and we have have um great sales analytics but there's always more coming so. okay so that's good because then you can keep track of you know what's selling and when yeah and then, um that would be really really good you know mm -hmm. for you to kind of gauge your numbers or see you know how much you made what you you know <laughs> what right. you didn't make or and whatever you don't have to enter it you know in excel or somewhere else you have yes. one place to keep all this information and all your sales and for taxes, you know, like you have just, this is one place to start keeping all the information since, you know, it is a business and, um, you know, those are things that come. That's not always the fun part of business, but it's nice to have, to know that um, sales can be tracked and you can keep it in this, in this one place. Um, speaking of, taxes and you know business um things you know, related to that receipts um i know a seller he shared this tip and it caught on i think a lot of other people liked it but he would create like a monthly listing where he would keep all his receipts for the month in in just a listing he created because it could have up to 30 receipt or 30 images could hold up to 30 oh. receipts for the month, you know, and then you can always use with our filters, you can always search through notes, search through, you know, your title, make sure, you know, if it's September 2023, you know, or something you could pull up, it'd be easy to find, you know. Or so basically you... then his listing was, let's call it receipts. Mm -hmm. And then on each day of the month, he would just photograph that day's receipts of items he bought that day and is added his inventory. Listing. Yeah, add it to that receipt listing for the month. Oh, but that was okay. one way of just keeping everything electronic, keeping it safe, keeping your business safe. But just another way you could use this perfectly besides just cross listing, you know, but using it as a helpful tool for your business too. Okay, so, and obviously because this is, a business tool this would be mm -hmm. a tax deductible yes uh, service exactly. mm -hmm. so basically for like a dollar a day starting at the lowest yeah. plan a dollar a day you could list your jewelry on mm -hmm. a bunch of different platforms and increase the likelihood of that jewelry selling without having to do double yeah. triple quadruple the work right <laughs> Right, and and keep all that information, and yeah, for adult, and it is fully tax deductible. It is a business expense, business solution. Um, so you, you're completely right. And if you were starting on, you know, you're starting in, you're growing your business. Maybe you think the other plans are are more than what makes sense for you right now on a cost standpoint. What I would then do um, is. For me, like I like a professional layout. That's one thing um, this perfectly does do. Um, like with the Pro Plus Pro Plan, I mean, sorry, Pro. You have a Pro Description Builder, and it creates this beautiful listing where you just enter some information in these little fields, and then it creates this listing with bullet points, a format that oh. studies have been done to show people skim through, but they look at it, you know, things in a particular format and skim through and read. And what I did, because we have to train, you know, as employees, we train on every plan, you know, so we're comfortable with every plan. And what I did when I was using Simple is I created um, a template and we have a default template you can select. And so I would have a place for like features and then bullet points already ready. So I just had this template ready. So every time I started a new listing, the default came up. And then I had a spot for measurements to remind me, you know, I just had yeah. this layout all ready for me condition. So it would look like a pro description 
but um, those, those, so there's ways to make this really work where this perfectly can be so customizable and your friend, you know, and. Okay, so I, I just had one other question that popped into my head. Um, what if you have more than one selling account? Would you have to get a list perfectly for each seller, no. like each seller ID? Like, because I sell, I have two eBay. Okay, that's a, no, that's another great question. And um, no, you, um, it's, it works, it's a Chrome extension. So it works in your Chrome browser. Okay. And whichever marketplace you have open is what it will kind of talk to. In in the, oh, okay. I'm not a very techy person, but the way I understand it, like <laughs> what is open in your open browser either. is like that's the one it will talk to. You know, so you just have to make sure that the other, just not to confuse things, if you have two stores be out of one, you know, you're signed out of one and you just, you have the other. Uh, but when I go on list perfectly, will it differentiate? Like, like if I have items in this store and then items in this store, like the listing, if I see the listings, will it have the listing separated or were they just kind of all be together? That it would be the same, but you could, what I would recommend is um, use the notes. Like we have our notes. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then put like store A or store B, and then okay. um, like maybe filter that way or search that way, or if that's if that's just an easy way for me to see. Okay, no, that's this is A or this yeah, is B. yeah, okay. And and then and then try to search that way, or maybe if you're not using SKU, I am not that big of a seller, so I don't use SKUs, so you know, maybe I would put something I would, you know, I might give bad advice because I, I'm not on a large volume, but since I don't use use, maybe I would just put A <laughs> and then I could search A and then I would know, but it just depends how you run your business. Um, right. You may well, know, Leslie, that does not work for me. Okay. Let me know. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> but, uh, but then use maybe the notes and then you could have, um, like the store name and the notes. So you can differentiate that way. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because, um, cause I have, I do have two stores, but I'm like you, my other store is nothing. There's nothing in it. It's just mm -hmm. kind of like a backup in case God forbid something happens to yeah. my other one. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. um, but I was thinking some people might have two active, you know, fully active stores. Yeah. So that's good to know. That's really good to know. You yeah. just have to figure out how you're going to, like you said, uh, label it or notate that it's right. this store versus that store. Right, right. And there's, and, and with how customizable this perfectly is, you know, of being able to put in notes or do things and then um, the way it filters, then I, I see that being a great shortcut for, you know, narrowing down and later when you want everything in, you know, the particular store or not. Right. Okay. Well, before we wrap up, is there anything else that you think people need to know about List Perfectly? Like, um, do you guys offer trainings or any ways oh, to, we have lots. to learn? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Um, well, with every List Perfectly subscription comes um, Listing Party. And that's, oh, no that's right. additional cost. So just adds more value to your subscription that you have because then you have access to Listing Party. And Listing Party is a platform we um, introduced over a year ago. It was at the Boss Reseller Remix, but in 2022, we launched that at the Remix. And um, there you can um, use it for the events um, where we might have a customer 411, you know, two, three days a week, and it's by our tech support. So they're giving a if you have questions about our features, how to use this perfectly, you're new, you can come to that. And it's multiple times through the through days through the week in different times. So find what works best for you. You can so it's even an online, it's an online event. Right. Like okay. held like this. Um over Zoom right now, but oh, okay. when you're in list listing party, you would see in the calendar um, what is available, and 
Um, and then, or there's a listing 101, there's an eBay 101, there's um, parties on Poshmark and live shows and understanding, you know, if that's a new thing for people to sell live. And, um, and the parties are hosted by customers, users, employees it's just a range we also have a 24-hour um hangout room so if you're just you're listing oh. at night and you just you're a little you want some company or just other people to talk to in the background you don't have to have your camera on but there are options or maybe you're listing and you have a, a question and you know it's something that probably another seller would know and but not your friends you know maybe it's just another seller would maybe have this answer or a shipping question or a platform question um you could jump into the 24-hour room see who's there and it's just another place Great. to ask your questions and see if they know or they might know someone that knows and and get you the help you need like in real time right away you know and um and so that's just it's all about community and helping each other and learning from each other. There's a daily mastermind, you know, Monday through Friday, a daily accountability meeting um, where people start their day every morning and mastermind with this, you know, group and to motivate each other and what they're going to get done that day. Um, so that's help sellers if that's what they need to stay motivated. Um, it can be just for different things or, um, you know, you just check, check the events and it's it's nice it integrates with your calendar so if you see something you like you know but maybe you know today's monday maybe it'll be on thursday then you can add it to your calendar and save it i co-host a which you'll get into um the referral 101 um listing party and um listing party but it's we have a great referral program so this is a, a meeting for people that are new or just referral members that have been doing this with us for a while, but they want the latest information, what's coming, because we, we try to let our referral members know the things coming up first, you know, so they have that inside knowledge and then they'll be ready to share it with their referral members. But we have a 20% commission across. Um, so any new customer, like if you're a referral member, costs nothing to join. It's very easy. Um, but anyone that you would bring in, um, you know, you know, maybe you share about this perfectly and then you, they come in and sign under you, um, you would get a 20% commission for the life of their member lifetime of their membership. So it doesn't cap, it doesn't expire. And, um, you, as a referral member, you get your three codes, you can choose like a code one could be leslie lp or something and then or you can do um links generate links if you want to study if you're getting a little more involved and you tried a campaign or you did something and you just want to see how effective it is you can you can pick different links too oh that's really good and we're adding um 2024 is our year we want to make sure we're adding graphics regularly to our referral resources make it easier for our referral members to share about this perfectly uh, so we're going to be doing a lot more this year for our referral members from the marketing side with graphics and make it easier for them to you know let their audience know what are our new features what are coming just fun holiday graphics whatever it may be um but this year we're going to be um we have a real big focus on our referral members. So it's a great time to join the program and get your commission. Um, we're still paying referral members for, you know, customers they brought in in 2019. And they're still oh, getting wow. <laughs> every great. month on, the, on those referral members. So it never expires. So. Yes. And I do want to make sure that uh, people know in order to join the referral program they need to have a active subscription yes. correct they have to be an active um subscriber as well and then their okay. then their referrals need to it's for the as long as they're active customers too then um, and then when you bring someone in and say they upgraded with someone else's code um 
they're, they're, that commission, you know, then the monthly amount is going to go up. But one good thing to know is since you brought them in, that commission stays with you. So say someone else gave them a code to upgrade, but you will still, you would still collect their commission. Okay. You know, the oh, money okay. from their, their plan because you brought them in, you know, so it stays right. with you. So, oh, well, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just good. Like you, if anyone is concerned, oh, will, will I lose them? You know, like someone else is sharing their code out there. Am I going to lose them? If you brought them in, you will not lose them you know, to another. Yeah, that is good because I know, you know, a lot of people are not full-time resellers and mm -hmm. everyone's, you know, looking for additional ways to make a little bit of money. And that's a great, another great oh. option, you know, that, I mean, if you mm -hmm. are going to be using it and talking about it anyway, right. <laughs> you may as well, you know, share, you know, share your link. <laughs> and I've seen part-time sellers um, with full-time jobs do amazing in the referral program so anything is possible you know but um i've seen i've witnessed some you know like growing through this year and i i know that they're part-time sellers with full-time jobs and they've still made this work for them so, so but awesome. it also is you know i think this perfectly can be great for a part-time seller as well because your time is limited you need to work yes. differently if you have a full-time job doing something else, you need to be efficient and get as much out there in as short amount of time as possible to really start, you know, to at least to maximize your sales and how much money you can make. So this perfectly does not have to be for a full-time seller. It's great for the part-time seller, just for that reason that they can get more done in less time and then sell more. Yeah, that's so great because, yeah, I think that's a, what a lot of people struggle with when it comes to reselling basically is just timing, schedules, you know, mm -hmm. trying to get it all done because there's so many moving parts, you know, as as yeah. we know <laughs> when it comes yeah. to reselling. <laughs> so if you can save some time on any part of it, it's definitely yeah. going to it's definitely going to be, you know, and have one thing. place to go to do it, you know, like. If you're new into reselling or new into the marketplaces or expanding, maybe you're just comfortable with eBay and you're not that comfortable with everything else, you know, or Poshmark and not the others. What is great is then you can use this perfectly to help you just to push your listings out there, but without having to learn each platform. Like you're right. not having to learn 11 marketplaces on how they work. You know, it was funny after getting so comfortable with lists perfectly. And then I was in, you know, one of, you know, in our marketplace, just in the app. And I'm like, I don't even know how to start a listing because I do it all through this perfectly. It takes <laughs> me to the right place. I don't have to find where on this app do I start, you know, it perfectly <laughs> knows where to start. So it really makes it easy in that in that way, at least me speaking, speaking firsthand, that was something I noticed. Oh yeah, that's definitely good. <laughs> yeah. So Leslie, where can people uh, connect with you? I guess if they have questions and um, oh, I know I'll put, sure. I'll put the link to list perfectly mm -hmm. in our show mm -hmm. notes, but in case someone does have questions, you know, before they sign up, is there a way that they can contact you? Yes. Um, yeah, they can, um, you can go to, um, well, there's my email, you know, which I can share. Um, and then there is a, we do have a list perfectly, um, you know, a contact form on the, on the oh, website. Okay. okay. So you can go through. And I know there's an Instagram page yes. for list, list perfectly. perfectly well. Inc. Yes. Okay. List perfectly Inc. Um, we don't do Facebook messenger. That's just not, um, so I just don't want to direct people to Facebook Messenger because we don't do Facebook. That's not our place to. Um, right. So I don't want to send people there. But um, you can go through the website and um, and then list perfectly ink that that's for Instagram. Um, 
I'm Leslie at listperfectly.com. So if there's, you can email me too. Like oh, if okay. Yeah, that's easy to remember. Yes, I'm I'm happy to help. <laughs> yeah, so you could email me. Yes, yes. And, uh, and Leslie email. was very, very helpful when uh, I met her at the Reseller Remix. And she was managing the whole little booth set up yeah. by herself. <laughs> and I was so surprised. And she had all kinds of goodies she was giving away, stickers and magnets and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's the fun part. Oh, the yeah. swag. But yeah, yeah you guys go to a lot of events. You said you were at Posh, the Poshmark event oh, like the week was before. Busy time. We did eBay Open. Um, even before eBay Open, there was FlipCon on the East Coast. Oh, that's right. Um <laughs> And then eBay Open, there was Reseller Rally. Um, that was like Ohio, Kentucky border and the river. And then it got into Posh Fest and the Boss Reseller Remix. So <laughs> yeah. it was pretty that is, that's a crazy schedule of just traveling to all those events. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely busy. Um, <laughs> it, but but worth it. You know, oh, yeah. I want to let you. Um, but yes, you can check those um for for reaching out and then we do have customer service that checks the the messages that come through you know through the website but i i just um and we have a facebook group so that has over oh, almost 10, well, almost okay. eleven thousand members now so wow. it's this perfectly facebook group so that's another place yeah if you yeah, that's another to, resource to get help and support right right yes so okay. then um, you can see the other sellers who've been using it and sharing. And that community is really great. They're so helpful um, for each other and in, in answering. You get newbie questions all the time. And don't be afraid. You know, they're all here to help. So mm -hmm. great. Well, thank you so much, Leslie. I really appreciate you, you know, taking time out of your busy schedule to come and have this chat with me and to share, you know, with all of our listeners and viewers, mm -hmm. you know, what List Perfectly can do to help support your business, help grow your business, or even just to help really free up some time for you so you can focus on life oh, <laughs> and all the yes. things that come along with that. That's, that's what we want. <laughs> we want people to have more time to enjoy doing the things that they love. Um, you know, or with their family, just, um, it just, and then, um, you know, and even just more comfortable, not so much manual repetition, you know, just even that's yes. how it's, you know, it's just things to make it efficient, less typing, speedier, um, output <laughs> and getting your listings out there. And uh, one last thing I forgot to mention, but I shouldn't, it's with start of the year and new goals, Listing party also has a goal tracking as um, part. To oh, it. that's so good. You can put in your goals for the month, for the year, for the week, whatever they may be, and uh, use list use listing party to help track your your goals as well. You know, aside from just going to different se sessions that might motivate you, but. Yeah, that's really good because like you said, now it's the time of year where everybody's, you know, mm -hmm. kind of mapping out their plan for 2024 and trying to figure out, you know, this is where I am. This is where I want to be. How am I going to get there? And so if you that's need great. Um, um, like a virtual assistance or assistance and listing party, you can put if you're a consigner, a reseller or an assistant. And so I think of it like a LinkedIn for sellers because oh, you yeah. um, put in, in your profile and your status, how many years you've been doing, you know, the work. Um, if someone's looking for an assistant, they have a chance to see your work, see your store, you know, it's just, it's, it's just another place um, to network on a professional level, you know, with sellers that we haven't, I haven't, there hasn't been anything like that out there before. You know, wow, that's amazing. Four yeah. That's just another thing uh, to keep in mind and messaging. There's so much more, but I'll um, also help you with links, anything you might need. 
<laughs> for sharing links and information. Okay, great. Yes, I will have uh, all of the information and all the things that Leslie talked about again, will be in the show notes of this episode. And also I will post it on the uh, website too. So that way, depending on where you're watching this or seeing this, it'll either be in the description in the show notes or on the jewelry resellers podcast.com website. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Leslie. And uh, maybe we'll check in with you again later in the year and, uh, Maybe you can give us some updates on how things are going. Oh, I'll be glad to. And there will be more. (laughs) (laughs) Exciting. I can't wait. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.